Hello there, my name is Mauro Tsikar from Bricks and Blades, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily rearrange the order of your portfolio or any other CMS items in your new Webflow template. Great. So one question we actually get a lot in our support channel is how to actually rearrange some of the items in your portfolio or in your e-commerce or just any other, C other CMS item. What I'm explaining is pretty much this. For example, here we have this template called Brandfolio, and you can see that we have a portfolio here of many different things. But maybe, probably this one is just, just, just your favorite, and you actually want these to go here on top. So you don't actually want these to go here on third, you actually want to go first. So this can be a little complicated, at least uh, from the first point of view, because Actually, all of this is based on the CMS. So the CMS propagates the order automatically. But we can actually fix this relatively easily, so no worries. So for example, let's go here into the brand folio uh, designer. And you can see that we have the portfolio and we have these four items. And then if we go into the portfolio page, you will see that we have a CMS collection that is showing all of these. So we have this collection list wrapper and you will see that if we go into settings, actually, that's not the one, sorry, this one. If we go into settings, you will see that we have the portfolio and it doesn't have any sort order. It's actually just showing them like from when they were created, not by date, but just by you know, like the ideal. So we can actually add a sorting functionality. For example, here, you can click on this little plus icon and then you can sort them, for example, by like, maybe project client or like, I don't know, like project title. You can do reverse uh, alphabetical. You can click save. You will see they just change it. Or you can just use any other sorting functionality based on the like CMS items that you have. So for example, you can make it created on. You can see from oldest to newest. And then let me show you to remove this one. You can see like this one was the oldest. So that's the one that goes first. And pretty much you can use that sorting functionality in many different ways. But something that we commonly get asked by designers and like creatives that really are looking for a pretty like a specific order is that they want to be able to order them manually to, to select in which order they appear. And this can be a little tricky because like you cannot move things around. You, you, you can see that like this is a CMS. You, you try to move things around. It will just break. So, what you need to do is the following. You will go here into the portfolio. You have your, your portfolio items in here. You click on this little settings icon. You will see that you have all of these custom fields. These are the custom fields that relate to your CMS of the portfolio. No worries, it can look a little complicated, but it will get super easy. You just need to click on add new field, this big button here and it will ask you what kind of field you want. You need to select a number field, so just a number like that, and you, you can name it order uh, or any other number that you want. Uh, in here, you can just uh, make this field required, or if you want, you can just keep it open, uh, and you can just click Save Field. You can just click Save Collection, and you will notice that now your CMS has an order. So what you're going to do in here is that you are going to number them uh, in the order that you want them to appear. For example, I want this one to Perth as one, and then I want this uh, digital store one to appear as two, and I want the e-learning mobile app to appear as three, and maybe this one as four. Okay, so we can click save. We go back. You can see, see that we have like this order here. And then if we go here, we can actually select the sorting. We can delete the old sorting. And we can select order in here. Here it is. And you can do it like from smallest to largest. In this case, from one to like to the latest number. And you will see that that just get added. Like we have FinTech, we have digital store, we have e-learning, and then we have FinTech. We can even do it the opposite way around, maybe from largest to smallest, and it will pretty much do the opposite way around. And this is a way that you can easily structure them to have exactly the same order that you are looking for, 
without stopping using the Webflow CMS. In that way, your website will still be super scalable because you will be using the CMS, but you will have the benefit of this order functionality. And that is pretty much it. Uh, like really, the process is the same for all CMS items, no matter if you want to order blogs or if you want to order like products or or like real estate listings or anything that you want, the process is exactly the same. Uh, if you have any questions, I always encourage you to go here into their footer and click contact us to send us a message to support at brickstemplate.com. Our support team will be more than happy to help you out in case you are not able to figure out something. And yeah, like that is pretty much it really. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Uh, I hope this tutorial was useful for you and I hope you have a great day. As always, this is Morris Card from Bricks Templates. Bye-bye.